Welcome to this Geometry Nodes lesson, and today we'll be going over how to create this type of effect. And it can be adjusted with modifiers as well. Let's jump into it. So let's begin by adding a cube and getting out of shaded mode. Press new Geometry Nodes, and I want to start with an Icosphere, subdivide it, add a dual mesh, which creates a hexagon shape for each face. Let's so zoom in here gonna add a split edges because I want to separate this mesh I want these edges to be separated now I also want to use two capture attribute nodes and for the first one I want to have a vector or excuse me rather an integer value and I want the index which is why we need an integer because this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's this value, if I'm not mistaken. And then I also want the face value. I also want to control the normals of each individual face. So I want this to face, and then we're also going to plug in a normal value into this value. Now, I also want to displace all of these. I'm going to add a set position node. I'm going to add a scale elements node. And I'm also going to add an extrude mesh and turn that to 0.07. You can see we now have this extruded faces. You can see that the edges are actually separated. But now we need to add animation to the scene and to do that we're going to start with scene time and i'm actually going to want to do the main effect which is displacing this mesh so i plug this vector math into here you can see nothing happens yet, but we're going to get to it. So I also want to plug this vector, oops, excuse me, this needs to be on vector. And this, sorry, so this normal needs to be plugged in here. And I want this vector to be plugged in, and we now don't see anything, but we're going to fix that by adding a multiply, or some, so we need some math nodes because it's kind of a pulsy sine wave type of effect. And I want to plug these values into this and make this a multiply. And you now see we have movement, but that's still not the effect that we want. So I'm going to actually add a few more math nodes. I'm going to turn this to multiply and we're going to turn this to a value of tau, which is i times two. Um, we're going to add an add node. I want to control this, convert this all to radians. I want to add a sign. We now have this. And with this add node, I actually want to plug this multiply into here. So we now sort of have the effect. Uh, we still need to tweak it a little more. So I'm actually going to do a map range. Actually, this. This goes into here, actually. There you go. You can see now we almost have the effect. So I need to actually do two more adjustments. I want to actually adjust the scale. So I'm going to just duplicate this map range, plug it into this scale and then change the values to zero, negative one. Like basically I'm adjusting the vector space um, of the scaling. So the scaling is actually smaller here and then it gets bigger there. I also need to adjust these minimums and maximums here. So it gets bigger and it's smaller down there. I'm gonna also adjust this map range. So this is also gonna be negative one 
and I'm gonna do pi divided by two. Actually, let's yeah, let's keep this. So I did e divided by five here, and then this is just the value of e. And we basically have the effect. So I want to adjust a few things. I want to control this multiply because this is actually we can call this the speed. So just you can see, I turn it up a lot. It's going to get really fast. Then if I do like 0.5, it's extremely slow. And that's kind of up to your art directing, but I'm just using tau here. And then I also want to shade this. So I'm going to plug this map range into here. And I'm going to call this scale and then I'm going to go to this attributes value and call it scale. So we're going to now do a set material like this into here. And then we're basically done. So let's choose our material. And because this is geometry nodes, I'm just going to show you the material that I did. All I did was add an attribute node. Okay. And choose that, choose my scale. Because so basically it's being projected onto here. And when the scale is at the height height of its value, it's gonna be red. And then I chose this yellow. This map range increases the range of the color values, if I'm not mistaken, by using this E here. And then because I'm an EV, I have bloom turned on. I use emission, plug this into a mix plug this transparent into here, plug a Fresnel into here. You can adjust this. That's kind of cool. Um, it really crank it up a bit and then just adjust this IOR value as you wish. Maybe I'll do like, see, that's too much. Let's try 2.5 again. Nah, kind of like that, like middle ground there. It was like, that maybe e divided by three but you can adjust this shading as you like so that basically does the effect i'm going to add a few more points to this so like you can this is just a starting block i want to see what you guys can come up with i've been messing around with this uh, mirror modifier creates a very interesting look and then if you go back into the geometry nodes i highly suggest changing some of the math here so, I don't know, let's say this sign, I want square root. And then you go back to the beginning, go to shaded view, and you now have maybe something that's not as interesting, but you can just play with different things. The logarithm is kind of neat. It has a very different look. Um, you know, you could just mess with all of these values with this and you immediately just get different results so i think it's very cool that this is iterative and uh you need to just mess with some math nodes mess with some modifiers you could add something really heavy to it like a wireframe um, but it slows things down so maybe you want to adjust the subdivision in here but yeah explore with this and i want to see what you guys come up with so thank you for tuning in subscribe if you want to see more and have a great rest of your day